Good evening, listeners. This is Mulberry Bush uh, flying solo tonight with another episode of Mulberry Trimmings. Um, tonight's show, like previous episodes, will be on YouTube. And if anyone's interested in listening, the list of songs and related videos to tonight's show, um, they can also be found on the YouTube channel. Um, the theme for tonight, I want to talk about empathy. It's something I see a lot of in metaphysical communities, and I think it's something worth delving into. It's a complex topic, and tonight's show will only cover it in brief. Um, I'll be taking calls throughout the show. It's already enabled, so feel free to call in, and the lines are open. Um, tonight, I'm going to start with the song, um, that goes into empathy is like essence. Essence is a magical theory that um, objects and people hold an energy called essence. And empathy um, is so. one of them. In ancient Athens, Elios or Elia, depending on the male or female, was the personification of mercy, clemency, compassion, and pity. Pausinius, a famous Greek uh, geographer and traveler by today's standards he would be considered a travel guide uh, described Elios as among all the gods the most useful in human life in all of its vicissitudes or constant change and fortune um, tonight we call upon the spirit of empathy and compassion and, to, and on the show we're going to be thinking about empathy sometimes called emotional sensitivity it is the ability to feel another person's emotions. Many spiritual paths embrace the benefit of community service, community projects, charity, and social work. According to scientific research, the portion of our brain that handles when we are in stress because of fear or sorrow is the same area that's stimulated when we witness other people's fear and sorrow. The same for happiness as well. That's why you jump in the movie theater. Empathy, like compassion, is the driving force of many professions. If you see someone who is genuinely happy, it inspires happiness in you. These moments are called the emotional contagion. The mirror neurons in your brain are firing and you feel what the other person is feeling. Those aren't the only times emotional contagion happens, but surely during an empathetic connection it does. People that do not address their emotional needs are likely to lack the ability to offer empathy as a result. Childhood experiences and genetic predisposition can influence a person's empathetic abilities. Both trauma and reward can raise an overexpression and repression in un unhealthy ways. For those who have empathetic skills, it should be praised, however, I'm going to recommend two of the videos on my playlist that I'm adding to my YouTube stuff for tonight um, that expresses it better than I can, but empathy has a dark side, and I'll cover the three um, negative aspects to having empathy and how you um, can lose control because of that, and then I'll um, cover some of the um, methods you can do to um, find balance in yourself as well as um, heal yourself from an improper discharge of your empathy. So let's um, go on to the next song. Most of these songs are going to be in um, in shedding light on empathy and, and putting praise to it. So I'll go over some of the negative aspects after. So, um, <clears throat> On to empathy, having a dark side, um, there are three things to keep in mind as an empath. I'll go into detail on these before I address how to uh, manifest a healthy balance. Um, one, empathy can be seen as a weakness. Um, two, it can lead to compulsive behavior. And three, it can lead to distress or burnout. Um, the first one is it can be in misinterpreted as weakness. Although misguided, people nurtured in an empathic uh, environment tend to resent those that rear them. Without challenge, a person looks at this utopia as a misleading environment when worldly challenges appear. Um, that first video really goes into better detail about that. So um, two, too much empathy going into niceness overdrive, like compulsive compassion, is not just these circumstances, but a common side effect of obsessive compulsive behavior is a person um, can feel as if they can take on the world, um, even when they don't have the capability to uh, extend their kindness any further than they would be able to. So um, 
The third is empathic distress, um, like parents who take care of a baby at two o'clock in the morning with colic or um, empathy for another person's pain activates areas of an individual's brain associated with negative emotions. Sometimes when we feel another person's pain, the boundary between self and the other can become hazy. If we do not have good boundaries or self-regulation skills, we can experience emotional contagion in those circumstances as well. Um, healthcare professionals, caregivers, even comedians express feelings of being overwhelmed by compassion. In other words, it's also referred to as burnout. So um, I'll go on with the next song um, before I go into um, what we can do about um, helping ourselves, those of us with uh, over So now I'm gonna go over um, how to um, keep your empathy in check and how to prevent it from um, causing a negative effect on your own person. So there's um, three of these that I highlighted. Uh, the third one is actually a checklist. So I'll go over the first two. One is you should distance yourself from the source, um, whether it's metaphorically or physically. Um, distance is as golden as silence sometimes. So um, two, Emotional energy sticks around, so do a cleansing ritual with sage. Um, even a um, non-empathetic person can feel um, some relaxation from sage being in the air, in the air, let alone an empath. So, um, oftentimes, uh, when I've visited a memorial cemetery or something like that, I typically do a cleansing ritual because of the uh, amount of um, energy at a memorial. So, um, and last, there's a checklist that I'm grabbing from a book called Esoteric Empathy that I'm looking for real quick. And there's about 30 things on this checklist, but I'm only going to read five or six of them um, just for time constraints and everything. Um, and so I can play another tune. So um, this is just a checklist of the things you want to do for yourself when you feel that your empathy is getting to um, be too out of control. But um, too little sleep is a problem for a lot of empaths. Um, not enough alone time. Um, you should also um, uh, make sure to connect with nature. Uh, take the time to do that for yourself. Uh, don't overbook yourself. That's one. Um, seems to be highlighted here um feeling responsibility for healing or fixing every situation is something that you should avoid um neglecting to sit with or process emotions before moving on that is um, repressing them and last but not least uh interacting on the computer or phone more than in person that is something you should avoid as well because that detaches you from the emotional connection that you have. So anyway, um, with that, I am going to um, play a song that I think in a way uh, Bono was trying to say that sometimes you can um, try to put too much energy into. Um, okay, that was a great tune. And um that that's my uh, show on empathy. You know, Freemasons um, talk about faith, hope, and charity. How faith can be killed and hope can be dashed against the rocks, but charity is the strongest of the um, emotional forces, since it um, can go beyond the grave when you donate to something or you give, and you've been a giving person. That memory goes on beyond your existence here in the three-dimensional plane so um empathy is something to um consider and uh, uh one last time as far as the uh, online references go um i can be found at around the mulberry bush dot com on mine on facebook and on google and as mulberry nine three four zero uh on tiktok and instagram so um, I'll go ahead and close this out with uh, the last song.